Hi, and welcome to this section of the Probability and Statistics Tutor, and in this section we're going to cover the topic of Bayes' Theorem, okay? So Bayes' Theorem is really nothing more than an extension of what we did in the last section, so if you haven't watched the last section, go ahead and do that right now. And the last section was on the topic of conditional probability. And just to remind you what that is, is you have two events, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to find the probability of that both events occur. And so what you're usually doing there, probability of, of A, times probability of B given that A has occurred. So when you're finding the, the probability of B, you need to be taking into account um, that A has actually occurred, okay? So Bayes' theorem is just a theorem that kind of extends that. So it's exactly what we've been doing in the last section, but we've, we're extending it to more complicated problems. The main difference between these problems and the problems in the last section is going to be that uh, there's going to be more than one possible path to get to the second event that you're trying to, to look at, and we'll see um, why that is here in just a second. So just keep that in mind. It's the same thing that we've been doing last time, but it's kind of extending it to more complicated problems when you have multiple paths to get to that second event, multiple ways, I should say, to get to that second event, okay? The easiest way to do it, rather than do what most of the books do, most of the books will just put Bayes' theorem down on a sheet of paper and tell you to use it. I wanna go ahead and do things a little bit differently and start with a problem and sort of hopefully explain to you as we go through this problem why Bayes' theorem makes total sense so that you're not just memorizing something, you actually understand something. So here's the problem, it's fairly lengthy, and in fact, all of these problems you will find are, are pretty lengthy with a lot of numbers in there, but the good news is, once you understand the type of problems that uh, Bayes' theorem is used to solve, you'll be able to tackle all of them because they pretty much all have the same form, okay? So here goes. Here's the problem. Uh, suppose that three plants make uh, cars, okay? So somebody's making uh, automobiles, cars, and three different plants can make them. Uh, plant B1, plant number one, B1, makes 60% of the cars. Plant uh, B2 makes 30% of the cars. Plant uh, B3 makes 10% of the cars, okay? Plant B3 makes 10% of the cars. Furthermore, 95% of the cars from plant B1 never fail, never fail, okay? And 80% of the cars from plant B2 never fail, and 65% of the cars from plant B3 never fail. So given all of that stuff, what we want to do is we want to find the probability that if I go out and buy a car, that's uh, produced by one of these plants, what is the probability that it's going to be uh, error free or never have any problems or never fail, okay? So one more time, let's run through it because once you understand the form of these types of problems, they'll all look similar, okay? You have three plants. Plant B1 makes a certain percentage of the cars. Plant B2 makes a certain percentage of the cars. Plant B3 makes a, another percentage of the cars. Add all those percents up. They're always going to add to 100% because all the cars come from those three plants. So B1 makes 60%. B2 makes 30%. B3 makes 10%. Okay. Now, furthermore, we know that plant B1 um, has error-free cars, or, or cars that never fail 95% of the time. Plant B2 has 80% of the cars never fail. Plant B3, 65% of the cars never fail. So what we need to do now to really make sense of this is draw a picture, and I'll think you see what's going on. So what we want to do, and you, by the way, you will do this for every single problem of this type. You're going to be drawing a picture like this, okay? So what we're doing is we're saying there's three plants. B1, B2, and B3. The idea here is here's a car, a little car is, is built, right? My terrible little car. That's supposed to be a car. A car is being built. It can only be built by one of three plants and that's why the lines go off like that because it has to go from one of those plants. Okay? Let me uh, switch, switch up the colors a little bit here, okay? We know that 60% of the cars come from B1, so you're going to have to convert that to kind of a probability, 0.60. Uh, because, you know, we don't deal with percents and probability. We deal with, with decimals, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, something like this, okay? 60% of the cars come from B1, okay? 30% of the cars come from B2, and 10% of the cars come from B3. So that covers all three possible paths um, from the manufacturer of this car. What percentage of the, the plants that pr uh, produce a certain percentage of the car? So the car must be built by one of these three plants. This is what I was talking about what, uh, where when, earlier when I was saying that Bayes' theorem deals with problems that have multiple paths to get to the destination. Well, this is what I'm talking about. There's three different ways this car can be built by three different plants. Okay? Now, furthermore, we know that plant B1 uh, that plant B1 has 